everyone, I'm back as promised, and today I'm covering a super common question. How the hell do you get to the tiny French town of Saint-Jean-Pied-du-Port? Saint-Jean is the traditional starting point for the Camino Frances, which is, as we know, the most popular Camino de Santiago. You can start anywhere along the Camino Frances, but a lot of people start in Saint-Jean-Pied-du-Port, and it is a small town, and it is kind of confusing as to how the the hell you're supposed to get there, where to fly to, all that kind of stuff, so that's what this is going to cover. Basically, the problem is, is that there is no best way to get there. I can't tell you, do this. You need to look into it yourself, depending on what your priorities are, depending on whether you need to get there as fast as possible, because you have your five-week time frame, and you can't waste any days, which I know is the case for a lot of people who have problems getting this time off work. For other people, it's price. For people like me, my determination is where I feel like spending some time before and after the Camino. If you have an, you know, extra week here, extra week there. Um, like this time I flew into Barcelona and I flew out of Madrid, even though it isn't necessarily the fastest, cheapest way. I felt like seeing Barcelona and so I incorporated that into this trip. So I'm going to try and help you with what the best options are as far as price, time, um, but you need to remember that all of this, it mostly varies by the time of year, by the day that you're going. You're going to need to do some research for yourself, and you will find in this video tips on how to do that research, and also in the links below, I'm going to leave links to the sites that I use to figure this crap out. <laughs> First of all, saint jean pied du is a tiny French town right on the France-Spain border in French Basque Country. It's about 10 kilometers away from the border, like on the first day you walk into Spain. So that gives you an idea of where it is. As the crow flies, it's pretty much the same distance from Paris, Barcelona, and Madrid, but there are differences in the time it takes to get to Saint-Jean from all of those places, as well as differences in price. No matter where you're coming from, you need to get to the French town of Bayonne, which is about an hour and a half train ride outside of Saint-Jean-Pierre-du-Port, and I think that is the only town that services Saint-Jean by rail. So you need to go from Bayonne to Saint-Jean-Pierre-du-Port. It's about 10 euros or so, probably less. So when you're looking into schedules, look for Bayonne as well, because that is the key place that you need to get to. Okay, so I'm going to talk about how to get there from Paris, Madrid, Barcelona by train, because that's what a lot of people do. There's also kind of the sneaky, extra, different routes um, that you might not think of if you're not familiar with the budget European airlines. And when I say budget, to those of us who are North American and have no concept that there could even be flights that are this cheap, I am talking flights from Paris down to where you're going, you know, just like an hour and a half flight that are 40 euros. Like super, super cheap. Cheaper than the train if you get it on the right day. So that is my number one tip. If you want to save time, you want to save money, if you're thinking about flying into Paris, definitely look at the day that you're thinking of heading down to Saint-Jean and see how much it is for a flight from Charles de Gaulle in Paris to Biarritz. Biarritz is a nine minute train ride away from Bayonne, so this is the closest that you're going to get. Just a direct flight from Charles de Gaulle to Biarritz. It's an hour and a half. There's a flight every day, maybe two flights every day. I can't remember. Range throughout the year from about 47 euros to 102 euros. So it is quite a big range. If you find yourself on a day where it is more expensive, and you don't really care about the time that it takes, you could take the train for cheaper. Also with these budget airlines, it is super budget. You have an oversized bag, which they have very stingent, small limitations, and my bag was oversized. You're also tacking on an extra 14 euros for your baggage fee. There's more kind of factors at play than there is by taking a, a train, but if this works out for you, it could be super cheap. It could save you five hours. So definitely look into that. That is through the airline. EasyJet, and I will link that down below. There are also EasyJet routes from London to Biarritz, I think from Gatwick, and from London to Bilbao. Bilbao is a town in the Spanish Basque Country. It's west of San Sebastian, and so it will take you a couple trains to get to Bayonne, but it also will get you closer. Those two routes, the London to Biarritz and the London to Bilbao, are spotty, inconsistent pricing, inconsistent days. If it happens to work out, it could help you. Otherwise, if the airlines sound a little too unpredictable for you, or you're not really that concerned about spending a couple extra hours on a train, these are your other options. You can take trains from Paris, Madrid, or Barcelona, and those are the three that I'm going to cover. From Paris, it is the fastest to get to Bayonne. The reason that it's fastest isn't because the trains are fast, it's because there are less transfers. Because you're going from France to France, you don't need to switch lines, switch train companies, that type of thing. You go from the TGV from Paris to Bayonne, and then you switch to the small 
local lines and you go from Bayonne to Saint-Jean. That takes about six and a half hours and you're looking at about 70 euros for that. Again, depends on the day, depends on when you buy. If you buy it in person, like the day before you leave, it'll be much more expensive. I found that from Madrid it was the cheapest of the three options. It's about 40 euros. The thing with coming from Spain, coming from Madrid or Barcelona, there's a lot of short train train rides as you go over the border. You need to go through the border town of Hyundai. That's where, if you're coming from Spain, you you go through there. You need to go to San Sebastian, to Hyundai, to Bayonne, to saint jean pied du port I found from Madrid, it takes just under eight hours of actual travel time, not counting the layovers, because obviously that changes depending on which train you, yeah. So there's no point in me telling you exactly, but pretty much you're looking at a, a full day. From Barcelona, it's just over eight hours, and same thing. You go Barcelona, San Sebastian, Hyundai, Bayonne, saint jean pied de So from this research, I found that Madrid is the cheapest, Paris is the fastest. I went through Barcelona because I wanted to see Barcelona. Getting home, coming from Santiago, there's a few more things that you need to think about. When you go to Saint-Jean, obviously you can kind of pick either of the three routes to fly into because they're all about the same distance away from Saint-Jean. Once you're in Santiago, on the complete opposite side of Spain, if you're flying out of Paris, you're looking at a long trip back to Paris just to catch your flight home. So what I would recommend doing is doing what I did and getting an open jaw flight. That means a multi-city flight where you fly into one city and fly out of another. I would definitely consider flying out of Madrid. You can get a flight into Paris and out of Madrid for basically the same price as a round trip to either of those cities. And it will save you some time and money by avoiding having to get back to Paris. The train from Santiago to Madrid is about a five and a half hour journey and costs about 20 euros. Otherwise, if you find it's too expensive to fly out of Madrid or something, there's also options on the budget airline Ryanair. Ryanair flies out of Santiago de Compostela and also Porto in Portugal, which is about a three hour train ride south. I know from Porto you can fly to Paris, from Santiago you can fly to London, to Madrid. There's a couple different routes that maybe it could happen to work out for you, so if you feel like finding something maybe faster, these are pretty small routes and again, it's kind of inconsistent. Could be more expensive than a train back to Madrid and so you can look into that yourself. As far as actually buying your train tickets, you can buy them in person. Um, on my first Camino, I flew round trip to and from Paris. I bought my train ticket down to saint jean pied du port um, two days before I got on the train, and I think it cost me about 100 euros. Online, you can get it for about 70. Significant discount. If you buy a significantly discounted fare, there is chance that you can't get it refunded, and you have your date set in stone. If you're flying into Paris and you don't know exactly when you want to start the Camino, it could be worth it to have the flexibility of not buying a ticket ahead of time. Otherwise, both on the French Rail websites and on the Spanish Rail websites, you can save a lot of money by buying your tickets like a month or two ahead of time. My train from Barcelona to San Sebastian was about 40 euros buying it a month and a half in advance. Um, the full ticket price is about 80 euros, and so that, to me, that was worth it to buy it ahead of time. The site that you want to search for getting trains in France is sncf.fr, and the site for the Spanish rail system is renfe.es. Now, these sites can be kind of difficult to navigate. You're going to have to know what cities you need to go through. Um, you can't just write Madrid to... Saint-Jean-Pied-de-Port, it probably won't come up with anything because there are so many stops in between. That will help you to find the accurate schedules and find the prices. Even if you don't want to book it online, you can see how many times a day they leave, how much they cost at full price, how much they cost at discounted. It's a really good resource to actually go into the proper website and see all these discounted fares rather than going through like a North American consolidator like Eurorail.com or whatever. Yeah, so I think those are all the tips that I can really think of. I tried to be really comprehensive, but in any case, I hope this was useful. I know it's confusing to try and figure out how to get to this tiny town that people haven't heard of. If you have any questions related to this or to anything else, make sure to leave your comments down below. I can answer them as well as other pilgrims tend to answer each other's questions in the comments, which I think is great. In the next couple weeks, I am going to be putting up more videos like I said in my last video. So if you're looking for more tips, make sure to subscribe. If you want to access the playlist where I've put all of my Camino advice videos together, click here. Happy researching. I hope you get there as fast or as cheaply as you possibly can, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Ciao.